Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. We are currently in Bedrock Edition. This is Beta 1.2.20.1 and in this edition you can enable Education Edition and this unlocks the Chemistry Lab which brings chemistry into Minecraft. Now disclaimer alert, I was not taught this stuff at school. So I know what a periodic table is. I have actually built one using these blocks which represent the the different elements in the periodic table so when it comes to things being scientifically accurate I'm not your guy unfortunately but I'm gonna walk you through all the things that have been added with this and it is pretty pretty fantastic pretty interesting it comes with a lot of practical uses in survival mode as well there are items gonna change how you play the game in survival minecraft but if we scroll down here none of those items are actually accessible as you will see, we have uh, all of the different elements of the periodic table right here. All of these names, so many of them are very interesting and cool. And uh, that's all that there appears to be. But believe me, there is in fact more things to check out. For example, there are sparklers, underwater TNT, underwater torches, uh, hardened glass blocks and super fertilizer to make uh, plants grow instantly. Those are just some of the things that have been added. And we're going to check out every single thing that's been added with this. Um, I will open this chest and show you a couple of examples. There is some elixir right here which can cure blindness if I remember correctly. We'll go over that again later and I'll tell you exactly what it is that it does. Um, we've also got these red balloons which are filled up with helium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn a pig and then I'm going to attach the balloon to the pig and the pig is going to go off into the sky. You know, real practical uses, peeps. That's a very practical use. It's gone. <laughs> it's literally gone. I, I want to do that a couple more times. Oh, wow. Uh, don't run away just yet. <laughs> Look at that. We're making pigs fly. Oh, they go up there so quickly, don't they? Now, if you're watching this video and you're part of the beta of the Bedrock Edition, you might be thinking, I want to check this out myself. And I'll show you exactly how you go about doing that. You need to create a new world and then in the options for creating a new world you need to activate cheats and then simply select education edition and this is going to add the chemistry lab to your game now if you're thinking i want to know how to be a part of the beta uh, that is something i'm not going to tell you in this video because it was a huge pain in the butt for me to actually get into the beta and to get it working and it's not the sort of thing I can make a tutorial on but you can go and look up other guides and if you run into problems you will know the headache that I went through to get this to work but anyway let's go and jump back into our world so we shall start by checking out two of these blocks the first one is the element constructor and uh, look at these textures man I love that it's got a unique texture on each side these blocks are extremely cool we have the material reducer as well. We're going to check that one out second. So let's go and open up the element constructor. This is going to require no power, no items being put into it. It's basically going to give you stuff for free. What you have to do is configure the elements. And you do that by telling it the amount of protons, electrons and neutrons that are going to go into this. So let's start by adding a proton and an electron. And we've created the very first element, which is hydrogen. And I can simply just you know, drag that over and over again. Probably can shift drag it for a stack. No, you can just take one at a time, but that's all you have to do. It's pretty cool stuff. Now let's go ahead and make the second one, which is helium. So if I go and add uh, one extra proton, one extra electron and a neutron, we get helium like that. It's pretty cool, right? Um, the third one is lithium, which is free of each. And there you go, we are making the elements. Now, you'll notice the electrons have these rings around the outside. I'm going to guess this is all scientifically correct. It would make sense that it is, because this is education edition. I don't think they're going to half ass anything here. Um, that is extremely peculiar and interesting to me, and so is all of this. But as we, as we drag them around randomly, you see it's kind of tricky to... Uh, land on the correct ones. So let's go and do one with uh, a different amount. You can also click up here, for example. Uh, if I set this to 42, this one here to 42 as well, and then that one to 50, uh, we should create molybdenum. Uh, yeah, these, these things start to have crazy names. Let's go make rondium. If we put this up to five on each, and then it's 58, I believe. 58 of those makes... Rondium. I mean, and you can make all of the different 
elements of the periodic table over there using this thing. Pretty fascinating, right? Now there is another way to obtain these items as well. If I just go in here and grab a couple of random items, let's grab some sand from down here as well, and we go over to this block, which is the material reducer, we will be able to reduce materials to their, uh, their elements. So this could be like entirely accurate. <laughs> Certain amounts of oxygen and silicon make sand. I know there's silicon in sand. That sounds like a, a legit thing. Okay. Um, so brick blocks, no. Stone bricks, no. I'm guessing that one, no, as well. So maybe we need things that are a little bit more natural. For example, dirt. Perhaps grass would make sense as well. My friends, I have discovered the errors of my ways. I have been putting in stacks instead of single blocks. Uh, if we look at what makes up this, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, not even going to try to say that one right there. We can see what makes up dirt block as well. But uh, not a lot of blocks actually go into here. Uh, for example, if I try orange stained glass, not having much luck. Maybe regular glass would have been uh, a better try. So let's go down here and slap one of those in. No, doesn't accept it. Anyway, that is the other way that you can get yourself some of these elements. Let's now check out the next block right here. This is the compound creator. Man, that texture is so cool. I like this ever so much. We can use this to take some of those elements and combine them to create other things like Minecraft items like charcoal, ink and sugar can all be made in this. And then a whole bunch of other crazy items as well which we can use to craft some of the cool stuff I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video. Um, so what we're going to start off by doing is chucking in one sodium and one chloride and this is going to create salt. <laughs> uh, as you can see NaCl it shows you it right there. Uh, we just we just made some salt. I've got no idea if there's any uses for this and apparently I can take as much as I want and then put those back. That's very cool. Now sometimes you're going to need uh, more than just one. So if I were to put in one carbon and one hydrogen we don't get anything but if I put in nine carbon and 20 hydrogen we get ourselves some crude oil and notice again it's the C and the H and then the amounts that we have and I could take as much crude oil as I want oh this is this is insane right here so then we got some iron and some sulfur to, to make some iron sulfide oh, crazy look at these little items right here uh, they look very interesting and then we got six carbon and six hydrogen to make benzenine. I think that's how you say that one. Now, not all of them require just two things, and you can sort of put them in, I believe, uh, anywhere as long as they're in there together, right? So order and stuff is not too much of a problem. I got one down the bottom here that requires four. We've got carbon, we've got hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, all with different amounts, and you can put it together to make luminal. <laughs> I don't even know what this stuff is, but but I'm excited by it. And now we have the lab table. Time for some mandatory inspection of all sides of the block. Well, not the bottom side, but uh, <laughs> just like those textures. Leave me alone. Uh, in here, you can put together some of the things you saw us crafting just a moment ago and, uh, and combine those things to make other items, of which three of these I think are actually really useful in survival. Well, at least they have a use. If we go into here, though, and just quickly create some Aminoa, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, I'm sorry if I'm not, and we mix these two things together, we should be able to combine that into something. Now, that just started to animate after I put in that other item, right? So perhaps that's showing you when you're doing something correct. And maybe each of these different types animate depending on what type of thing you're creating. Uh, but if I combine, wow, I was not expecting that. We've got ourselves some super fertilizer. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that over to one side in a chest and we'll be checking it out at the end of this video. There is more to be made though. First of all, we've got to make water. And this one's a classic, H2O. And there it is. Uh, so we got some water and these things together should make us a heat block of all things. So let's just chuck them in there and then see what it says. Aha, look, this one on this side now animates. Oh, that is so very cool. By the way, there are only four things you can make in here as well. So hopefully we'll see that middle one get animated as well. And uh, different particle effects this time. That was fantastic. And we now have the heat block. We're going to put it in here for later, peeps. We're making some more stuff. It's sodium actate this time. 
and we need four of it to go into here to make an ice bomb of all things. There's the animation, let's click combine and particle effects. <laughs> Now it's time for a little bit of water and the old sodium hypochlorite. Let's just go chuck that in there. And we've got this animation over here. So there are four different things you can make and we haven't seen the middle one animate. But anyway, particle effects time. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And we've made ourselves some bleach. So for the next set of items, we have to do a whole bunch of crafting. So let's start off with some of the easiest stuff first of all. TNT mixed with sodium makes underwater TNT <laughs> and then magnesium and torches makes underwater torches again we're gonna check these out later on so using the compound creator I've made a bunch of different types of chloride and now what we can do is combine those chlorides with other items uh, first of all torches to make colored torches so that gives us a blue torch we can get a red torch a purple torch and last of all a green torch awesome and then the other thing we can do is put sticks magnesium and then each of these chlorides on top of it to create sparklers of different colors so we've got orange and then these are just like the other ones this one's going to be red isn't it yes so they kind of match purple and last of all it will be green yes awesome okay so we made some sparklers and torches and and, and you know we're gonna we're gonna check it out later on and now for the last of our crafting, we can make hardened glass, which simply takes longer to break. That's all there is to it. You need some aluminium oxide and some boron trioxide, <laughs> and then it makes hardened glass, which i got to say looks seriously cool. Uh, here's another thing you can make with this polyethylene stuff. And don't tell me I didn't actually make enough. Oh, apparently I didn't make enough overall. I did make the right amount, I was just missing something, so if we do that, look at that, an orange glow stick, let's make a purple one, and a cyan one as well. So there are four different types of potion you can brew as well, so we got some aqua potions, and with silver you can turn this into antidote, which will cure poison. Uh, the next one has Cobalt in it, of all things, and that makes the Elixir, which can be used to cure weakness. We then have Eye Drops made with Calcium, and this will cure, cure blindness. These are all effects in the game, of course, we're talking about here. Uh, and then last of all, we have Bismuth, which uh, makes this tonic right here, which can be used to cure nausea. So those are the four different types of potion you can make with this stuff as well. And now, my friends, we get to have fun with the contents of this box. I'm going to start off by cloning the box and then breaking it. In fact, let's make several clones. <laughs> uh, breaking it so we can get all of the items. Now, the torches are probably going to be the least interesting, right? Because they're not going to emit actual colored light because that would require changing the engine. So it's literally going to be... Um, a different colored torch each time. One of these allows me to access my inventory like uh, survival mode. So uh, there's the blue one, there's the red one. We've got the underwater torch over here. So if we go down underwater, funny enough, down to the bottom of the ocean where it is dark and mysterious. And look at that. Oh, with particle effects as well. Oh, I like that ever so much. <laughs> That's really, really nice. It emits lights. It's got a nice... Nice effect as you move away from it as well, that's cool. And of course it doesn't pop off, so that's interesting. Uh, we're probably going to need to give ourselves flint and steel for this next one because I would like to... Uh, let's put the purple torch away. I'd like to grab our underwater TNT and uh, place that down here. So water usually stops TNT from working, right? So this time it's just TNT that does work even when there's water going into it. Let's use more than one block. Let's put down quite a few. <laughs> and then move away. And there you go. Awesome stuff. Now we have uh, a glow stick that apparently glows when it's shaken. So if I hold down right click, we're shaking it. And we've used it a little bit. Is it sort of active now? I think it's kind of active. Maybe we need to go down to where it's darker. I've never seen this stuff before, peeps. Okay, so we can't shake it anymore. Let's shake this one. Ah, look at that. The stick is glowing. That's cool. 
And so's that one, actually. I didn't really notice, did I? So give it a little shake. Oh, man. And uh, now it's nice and visible. So this bleach that we got in our inventory is simply used to remove dyes from stuff. Is it a one-time use? It is. So that's probably not worth messing around with, but you can convert coloured stuff back into normal stuff. This next one, we're going to go into uh, game mode survival. And I've never seen this screen before until today. It's really good. <laughs> I like it. Um, and now we're going to break the hardened glass, which will take a fair bit longer than usual, as you can tell. Glass is usually pretty quick to break. Do you know what else we should do? We should check and see if it is uh, TNT resistant. There we go. I reckon it's not going to be that resistant. Oh, it is. Well, I spoke too soon. There you go. Interesting stuff. Okay, I need me some, some grass or some dirt near some water. We're going to put down some seeds and then we're going to use our super duper fertilizer. What was it called again? Super fertilizer. It's pretty close. There's no duper. <laughs> and look at that. Basically bone meal that goes all the way to the fullest growth. We should we should try that on saplings for trees as well and see if they will instantly grow and under what conditions as well. So let's go put um, like a sapling down just over here and see if we can instantly grow it. We can. Fascinating. What if there are other blocks around it or other trees? Is it going to grow instantly every time? It is. No, not that time. You saw it there. X is asking questions and finding flaws with the super fertilizer. So it's not that super. It's pretty strong, but not strong enough. All right. So the ice bomb is supposed to turn water into ice. Do we do we throw this? Oh yes, it is a projectile. That could be pretty fun for mini games, right? <laughs> uh, so we can make ourselves a little ice lake, and then what we can do is put down the heat block which should start to melt the ice as well. I like the transparency of this and it's animated as well. So it says that like a torch it'll emit light and uh, melt the ice. It could be the ice that's created from the ice bomb isn't the same type and therefore it's not melting it. Oh no, there we go. It's it started to melt there in the middle. The first one that we placed is now melting. So sometimes they say save the best for last. I've got a feeling these sparklers are going to be the best. So right click. Um, <laughs> that's not quite what I was expecting. I was thinking more particle effects, although we do get some that sort of follow us as we move around. What does that look like in this right here? I like the fizzling noise. That's cool. And is that slowly like burning out? Okay, interesting. So are glow sticks as well, actually. Now, if I'm not holding it and I go back to it, it continues fizzling. Right. And we know what the deal is now, don't we? I should I should be dual wielding this. Let's go let's go put one in there. <laughs> Got me some sparklers, peeps. Wow, that is superb. I love it. <laughs> awesome, awesome stuff, right? Well, there it is. It's been a very interesting video. We've gone through all of the stuff in the chem lab. If you have enjoyed the video, leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And in the description box down below, you can find the guide to the chemistry lab as well, if you'd like to look at that. Uh, but anyway, that's it from me this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.